Borderlands 3 is an amazing game in my opinion, but it could be better. Today I bring you 5 things I feel Borderlands 3 could definitely benefit from having. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So Borderlands 3 for the most part is a great game. But today I bring you 5 things I feel Borderlands 3 could benefit from having. Now these are just my ideas and my opinion. I feel we all want to see something added or changed in the game. If you guys have 5 things you feel or even 1 thing you feel could make BR3 a better experience, please let me know down below within that comment section. But before we go any further guys, I do just want to show my appreciation towards 2K Gaming. And no, this isn't a sponsored advert or video. They sent me out an amazing loot box full of crazy goodies in celebration of amazing releases, absolute classics, gaming classics on Nintendo Switch. Borderlands, XCOM and Bioshock. Pretty cool if you ask me. So yes, I just want to say thank you to 2K for sending me out this amazing loot pack. Okay, so we're going to get into the video people and five things I feel would definitely benefit the future of Borderlands. Okay, so in at number five, the ability to save builds, i.e. loadouts. So this one I have thought about probably the most out of all on this list. Imagine being able to save a specific build with all skill tree build and inventory loadout in place. This for me would make a whole world of difference as it would make things way way easier when it comes to switching up a build for a certain instance you plan on doing. I mean for me and Zane I've made probably about 15 to 20 builds so far, serious builds they are and if I could switch between each on the go it would make life a whole lot easier and I also feel a feature like this could cause many many people to actually experiment with builds, setups, weapon classes and much much more. Maybe add in a new SDU with Marcus giving us a max of 20 builds we can save. Once a build is saved all items like weapons, grenades and so forth which are used will be locked to said build. Meaning items cannot be equipped, dropped or even sold on other builds. And builds would have to be loaded up, edited and overwritten to update them. And items replaced can be dropped obviously. I mean it would take a bit of work on Gearbox's behalf and it's probably a feature I don't think we will ever see. But still I feel it would be an amazing addition to the game. So yes people in at number 5 the ability to save those builds. Ok so we're going to move on and in at number 4. Bank sorting, or actually even better, banks per different Vault Hunter. Now the idea of having a bank per Vault Hunter obviously isn't a new one, but this idea kinda is. I feel the addition of having different banks for your Vault Hunters which are accessible on all characters would be an amazing one. I mean the bank we have now and it's 400 slots is a massive improvement on what we've had in the past and previous Borderlands games, but I feel a few quality of life upgrades would make it perfect. Now I was originally at number 4 just going to talk about having an option to arrange a bank by order of Vault Hunter which would be amazing and I feel it would definitely help out a ton. But having 4 different banks aboard your sanctuary, one for each Vault Hunter would be even better as it means when I'm farming on Zane and I find something useful for Amara. I can just drop it straight into her bank. I mean I know personally this is kind of my OCD kicking in and taking over but I feel a simple little thing like this would make a better overall player experience and I do feel this would be a great great addition. I mean even being able to arrange your bank in order of Vault Hunter would be a great addition too. Ok so moving on and in at number 3, the ability to get previous event items. Now I know Gearbox gave us the opportunity to get the gas cool which was originally a bloody harvest event item within the broken hearts day event where there was a small chance you could actually get this thing to drop. But this really isn't the same and I know event items should be exclusive to said event but at the end of the day there are many many players out there that can't farm these events like the average hardcore player. So the odds of them actually getting the items these free events offer or getting all items these free events offer are sometimes very very slim. Not only this, I mean there are some true hidden gems that we probably won't ever see again like the gas call and the wedding invitation. 
These are top, top tier items and I feel would still be a part of one's build today if they were obviously still obtainable and dropped at a level 57 or a Mayhem 10 stat value. Now there are many, many ways these could be incorporated into the game, but my idea at that number one spot, these would work amazingly for the return of such items. And we will get to that in a quick minute. But yeah, I would love to see some of the event items one day become available by other means in the future. Okay, so moving on guys, and in at number two is something, although I know Gearbox have said won't ever happen, but that is a new Vault Hunter. Now I know the Borderlands community is split on this idea of a new Vault Hunter being dropped into the game, but for me I feel the time is right within the next three to six months of a new Vault Hunter being a perfect addition to the game and keeping it thriving. I mean I won't lie, there are many many free events they drop, some amazing DLCs, full of things to do, which are amazing. But I do feel the time will come for a new Vault Hunter to hit the game. I mean the positives of a new playable character overweigh the negatives quite heavily in terms of the player experience going forward. I mean bringing in a new character, a new Vault Hunter for starters means we get to run through, learn about and build with something we haven't experienced before. Now when Krieg was dropped into BL2, I think I remember around the time people were for the most part truly hyped. Now although I don't agree with many thinking Krieg will return as a playable Vault Hunter with DLC 4 as I feel he's someone we've already experienced and it wouldn't be the same as a fresh new Vault Hunter, although I won't turn him down as I loved him, but still. I just think someone completely new, someone we don't know and this Vault Hunter offering something we just haven't seen before. That would be great for sure people in my opinion. Now I know this would be the topic many people are thinking the game would benefit from and others thinking it will take away from what we already have, which is Zayn, Amara, Flack and Moors. But where do you stand on this? Let me know what you feel about a new Vault Hunter being added into the game. Tell me your thoughts down below. Okay, so moving on. And lastly guys, and in at that number one spot, we have weekly timed quests. Or as some may see them, weekly timed bounties. Now there have been times I've been playing Borderlands 3 where I thought about these and then thought well this game is full of things to do. So we really don't need them. But then guys on the flip side where we're at times like this right now where there really isn't much to dive into as we wait for another event or a new DLC where such additions would be amazing and would work well in keeping us on our toes in terms of things to play for and earn. So this is an idea I spoke about with many many Borderlands players, hardcore players on and off for quite a while now and for the most part they love the idea. So for this let's take a planet like Eden 6 for instance. Let's add an NCP for the planet to be our guide for said weekly quest challenge. Clay works perfectly. Let's add my logo in so no one takes this and posts it on reddit as you know how people are these days. Let's add that bounty board which shows us what we need to do and earn for said exclusive reward for this weekly quest which with my idea would be a timed quest for an exclusive item or exclusive variant of said item. So we have the weekly quest, obviously challenges would be a little harder depending, but this is just an example. Kill 1000 enemies on Eden 6 and defeat 100 bosses upon Eden 6. Reward, going back to that number 3 spot of an event weapon. The weapon will roll as a random variant, but here is the fun part, this weekly quest can be picked up multiple times per week, so if you complete it within let's say 2 days, you can go back and pick it up and complete it again and try and get that role you indeed are searching for. And in actual fact guys, these rewards from these weekly quests could be anything, but I do feel the reward would indeed need to be worth the player actually wanting to do them. And the more I think about this, the more I'd welcome that idea being incorporated into the game. Maybe even having a couple running each week on different planets. Each weekly quest obviously changing at the end of the week, but yeah, let me know what you think about this. Do you like this idea? Let me know down below. I just think it will be a small addition, but a great addition over time. And adding in past event items, maybe even current quest items. I know they did say we would be able to use Iridium for quest items in the future via a vending machine upon Sanctuary, but maybe even throwing quest items into this as well. I think that wouldn't go amiss. But yeah, let me know what you think about this down below within that comment section. But yeah guys, those are 5 additions I'd love to see incorporated into Borderlands 3. If you have anything to add or have an idea of what could be added into the game to make the experience a better one, let me know down below. 
And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new and you want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Also guys, if you do want to become a member of my channel, do go ahead and click that join button. It truly helps support me directly. But on that note guys, we have come to the end. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you on that next one.